What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the best possible scenario, the best way that you can defend PA boot over in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people like you become the best Madden player that you can possibly be. Every single day we post videos that can help you get better at this game. So make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. And in this video, we are gonna be breaking down a preview to our big nickel over G defensive guy. That's right, I'm finally through it. I have labbed so, so hard to get this defense to be not just a good defense, not just another good defensive guide, but to get this defense to be the best defense possible in Madden 21. I've been studying this defense on and off for over the past year and a half, and this truly is the best defense for every single type of offense that you're going to be able to face. It's essentially, we're basing this out of the 4-2-5 scheme that TCU runs in college, and we've kind of taken a lot of their principles and applied them to our big nickel over Z defense. And so we're going to be breaking down in this specific video a preview, just a glimpse of what you're going to get whenever you get this guide. It not only has the best pressure in the entire game, it also has the best coverage scheme because of the fact that you can call any type of coverage that you want. You can call match coverage, you can call zone drops, you can call man defense, you can call cover six, cover four, cover nine, cover four palms, cover three match, cover three buzz match. The list goes on and on. And that is what makes this defense, this defensive guide so special. Not only can you call every coverage, not only can you stop every single run, including goal line runs, but you can also have the best combination of three to five different user rushes that is gonna guarantee you instant pressure all, but all the while having the best blitzes in the entire game, including four, five, six, and seven man pressures that can get in against max protect, even better than double A gap was earlier this year with the one step ahead meta. The big nickel over G is the best defense in the game. And if you want to get it right now, you can get the entire defense in the description of this video for just 15 bucks. Again, it is truly the best defense of the game. It's going to be the defense that I'm going to be in for the rest of the season, just because of the fact that it is so good, not only against bunch and compression, but against the run, but against the spread. And it gives you the ability to just to have so many possibilities. So let's dive into this play. We're going to show you how to use this to absolutely annihilate PA boot over in Madden 21. Now what we want to do is, and literally this is it, like bunch tight end is dead. Bunch is dead. Tri like the, the best offense against this offense or defense is trip tight end. That's because trip tight end is the best offense in the game. It's what I've been running. Personally, I think it is. If you want to get my guide on it, you can get that in the description as well. But real quick, big nickel over G, PA boot over defense. Here you go. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our zone drops. And we're going to put our flats on 30. We're going to put our curl flats on 5 or 10. It's up to you. Uh, we could even leave them on default if you want to. I'm actually, uh, we'll just put them on 10. That's fine. And we're going to put our hook curls on 10. So these are our zone drop adjustments. And the, the play that we're going to be coming out in, it really doesn't matter, to be quite honest with you. It really doesn't. Um, I personally prefer cover four quarters. Um, I just prefer it. I think it's the best defense. I think it's the best base coverage in the game. Um, you can do this from other stuff. You don't just have to have cover four quarters, but cover four quarters is really good for the way that we're going to run this. Okay. So here's how we're going to do it. So cover four quarters, and this is specifically for boot over PA boot over will be dead after this video. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. Um, you are going to basically what I like to do out of this and out of most defenses, actually real quick, let me show you one other thing. This is specifically for, um, compression. It's not exact. I actually have been base aligning against pretty much everything, but put base align on and then you can, you can leave auto flip on. It's, it's not, it's not a, you don't have to have it on, but you can leave it on. Um, so we're going to have, ba we're going to have base alignment on. It's just going to save us an adjustment. And the, it's actually a really simple defense. That's what's funny about it. So all you're going to do is you are going to pinch your defensive line and you're going to show blitz. Okay. That's going to give us our base front. And then we're going to set up a little right side pressure. So we're going to blitz our user or we're going to blitz. We're just going to blitz all of our linebackers just straight down, just like this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to blitz the safety that just came down. You see it. The, if you look at the play out here, he's got an F by his name because he's the force defender. You're going to blitz him straight down and you're going to QB contain and you're going to pass commit. Now the last, um, the last of the adjustments that you, that I would recommend is to simply put the corner on the outside into a cloud flat, put the uh, slot corner in a curl flat if you have time, 
And then you can either run it like this if you want, or to stop corner routes. Like if you think they're gonna maybe run a corner route or something to the right to the tight end or whatever, I would recommend putting a cloud flat out there. Now, if the tight end goes on a route, like if he goes on a streak, that's your responsibility. But you're gonna be this, this defense right here. They can't run a corner route to the left. They can't run a crossing route to the right. They can't run a corner route to the right. The only thing they can do is throw quick to the flat on the right side, which if the running back uh, releases to the flat or if the tight end goes, then that's your responsibility. If not, you're running right through the A-gap. So um, here's how we're going to do this. So again, I'm just going to set the coverage up. And what you're going to see is if I stand kind of right in here and I pass commit at the snap of the ball, I am going to be able to literally run right through the A-gap for an instant sack. As you see right here, he can't get out of the pocket and we're able to basically just bag it. Now, um, typically you're actually going to be able to run through it with your user. I don't know if I like waited too long or whatever, but let me show you this again. So again, we're just going to blitz the linebackers, pinch your line, crash your line out. Um, if this linebacker goes in the in the gap, just pull him out. You want him like out, okay? And you want to be kind of like right back off here just a little bit. But anyway, there you go. Boom, that's the coverage show. Snap of the ball. You're running right through the middle, and there it is right there. See, they can't even get... They literally can't, because even if they right trigger to cancel the play action to get out of the animation, you're going to have two defenders there because you're the running back is picking up the, the linebacker on the right side. That's why what I want to say is real quick, you want a baseline, uh, or I'm sorry, not baseline, you want you're already baseline. Uh, you want to pinch your line, show blitz, then you want to blitz your linebackers. You don't want to blitz your linebackers and then pinch your line because then they're going to move and you don't, want, you don't want them to move. You want them to stay where they're at. So... Again, here's the defense. Make sure you put your cloud flats out there just to help the corners. You don't even have to put them out there if you don't want to. You can do this from any covered shell also. Like if you wanted, um, I just really like this inside quarter zone um, from cover four quarters. It's going to do a good job. Like if they run a post route um, from left to right, it's going to match onto it. If they run a streak route on the left side, it's going to match onto it. Like it, all you have to worry about is the tight end streak. In fact, if you man yourself up to the tight end right here, you can either man yourself up to the running back or you can man yourself up to the tight end. You could, I didn't even think about that, but you can do that um, as well. But the pro, the thing is for them to roll out, they double team here, especially against big nickel. So it gives you a free runner off the edge and it basically allows you to shoot like right through the A gap right there. I didn't get to, but you see how they can't roll out. Even, even if you, even if you get picked up with your user, they cannot roll out. That's the beauty of this. This forces them to have to beat you from the pocket. And most people that run bunch tight in, with the exception of some of the best offenses in the entire game, they can't beat you from the pocket. And even the ones that are running the best offense in the game, once we get them convinced that they can't run boot over, this defense flat out screams too, by the way. Like, you're not going to have a flat to the left. You're not going to have anything. This, If you bring this guy down, kind of drag him down, they're going to be very uh, cautious to throw hitches or anything on that left side. And so, I mean, this thing is just amazing. It's just a really, really good defense. Now, let me show you what happens if they don't double team on the edge. So this is a seven-man protection. You're going to see that I'm not double teaming anybody. So I just want you to watch the the, the passing, the, the, the base protection uh, from this and how the, how the defense is going to work against it. So you're just going to run right down the middle again, and you're still able to get an instant sack. It doesn't matter if they double team or not. It's actually better if they don't double team. So that's what makes this defense so good. Now, if you wanted to bluff this, let's say you wanted to have like a coverage version of, of the same defense, all you're going to do is just put both guys on the outside in cloud flats, and then you're going to have... Um, you're going to put both defensive linemen into curl flats, and you're going to take the slot corner and just man him up on the square receiver. So you see this is what the defense is going to look like. The beauty of this is this still stops bunch tight end. It still stops pretty much everything anyone's going to want to do from this. So you're going to see, I'm going to show motion out. Obviously, you're going to be usering over the middle of the field, but look at the three rec. Completely bags, completely bags the uh, delay fade. You're also going to have the in inverted quarters for a really good job that does on crossers it does uh, the inverted quarters will take away post routes any type of standard cover four beater like a uh, a fin concept or an inverted levels or a mills concept the the inside quarters will take it away so 
Anyways, Bunch Tight End is completely bagged with this defense. It's the best defense in the game. I would encourage you, if you have not already gotten a big nickel over G guide, even if you have, even if you've gotten my 335 wide, this is taking all of the concepts that we've learned all over the course of the season and implementing them into one defensive package for you. You're going to be able to stop the run. You're going to be able to run every type of match defense in the game. You're going to be able to blitz the living daylights out of your opponent. You're going to be able to have user rushes that are insanely hard to, to guard or to block. So this defense is the foundation of everything that we're going to do in Madden 22. I'd encourage you, if you have not already gotten uh, any of my stuff, you haven't gotten my defensive guide, whatever, this defense, I've been running in money games all weekend, made a ton of money this weekend running this defense. It's the best defense in the game, hands down. Gives every offense the most amount of trouble because of the fact that it looks exact, everything looks the same. You're able to send heavy pressure, you're able to stop the run, you're able to stop the pass, and you're able to confuse the crap out of them with all of the the different amazing coverages that you can create from this so if you want to get my big nickel over g defensive guide it's available in the description for just 15 bucks thanks for watching